Yo, what's going on? This is Jumpman Chris, and this is the Jump on the On My Feet app. And yes, I know it's been a kind of slow couple few weeks, you know, not many too hyped up shoes been coming out, but still, still a little bit of profit to be made, or is this just some shoes that's been bricking out? So for instance, we just got the return of the Oreo 5s. My bad, they're calling these the Moonlight now. Um, these things are not really going for much. I don't expect these things to do any crazy amount of numbers in the future. Back when these things did come out back in 2000, was it 15, 13, 14, something like that? They didn't really do that much uh, when they first came out. And guess what? They're probably not gonna do that much now either, you know? Fives just don't really do that crazy amount of numbers. It just is what it is. It's not all that hyped up. It is, I know it's a fan favorite shoe, but at the same time, fives just, they're just okay. Now let's just talk about these things. Yeezys V2 700. Price on these things, I think pre-sale was over 300 or even 350. Of course, once people start to get pairs, these things definitely dip down to like three, uh, 270 to 290. That's a decent price because remember that these things used to retail for only th for over 300. dollars These things might actually be a decent hold. It's a you know it's a neutral colorway. It's a color that goes with anything. It's a 700 and it's a mauve. You know we had a mauve one didn't really do that crazy up until now it took a while for these things for those to go up but i'm just saying i wouldn't sleep on these things these things could do some decent amount of numbers is it worth the hold that's up to you guys but if you guys got them for retail why not hang on to them for a little bit anyway guys this is jumpman chris and this is the jump on the on my feet